What's going on guys? Adam again back with Atomic Garage and today man we are gonna plug away at this BMW until we get it going. Hopefully. Let's go. All right, guys, so I, I got a confession to make. Usually, I don't do anything with the cars or the workshop or anything like that unless it's on camera. But you know what? I had one of those days yesterday that I just needed to plug away at it. I needed to just, just grind a bit. And I didn't have good lighting outside, inside. It just wasn't conducive. I wasn't in the filmy mood. So I said, you know what? Let's just plug away at it. Well, I got a couple minutes of free time. Let's hit the ground running. So I went on ahead and replaced the fuel pump and the fuel filter, drained out a lot of that lines and stuff like that. The gas really not in the best shape, but I've got some gas now that we are going to put inside of this car and we are going to get it running. Again, hopefully. Let's go. Also, side note, have any of you guys ever gotten a project car and it could be new, it could be old, whatever it is, you're now just enamored with that project car. Now it's, you see that project car, you look for it on the road and things like that. Like before, be honest with you, never really a BMW fan. Not because I didn't like BMWs, but maybe because I wasn't paying attention to BMW. Maybe that's what it was. So now, I'm like in love with BMW. I go to the car show and I'm like, look at this E36. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Look at this E30. It's so clean and original. I'm just gushing over myself now with BMW. I don't know why that is. In the comment section below, let me know if you guys do the same thing. Or am I just crazy? Eh, it could be that. Anyway, let's go ahead and put some gas in this car now. Yeah, you see it. Don't act like you don't see it. Some jerk stole my gas can from out of my back of my truck. So I've been too cheap to buy a bigger gas tank can. So what I've been using is a def container that you I would use to pour def fluid inside of my truck. It works, it gets the job done. So now let's put some gas in the BMW. How am I still pouring fuel? This car better start, I'll be honest with you. All right, gas cap. I feel like I just leveled up the car when I was filling it up. All right, battery charged and connected. Everything is as how it should be. Let's go ahead and get the keys from out of my pocket and get it started. Keys. Let's go. See if we can get it to start again. <laughs> the longest it's ever ran. Oh, 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 oh. 
is island. Oh my god. Can you believe that? Oh, oh yes. She is island. You hear that? Look at that bounce. They can't stay like this, but oh, oh, oh car show here. I'm coming. Oh my god, guys. You guys just don't know, quite honestly. You guys just don't know how how happy I am right now. The fact that I got this thing to fire up, man. Ah. That's great. That is beautiful. Also, I know I added in some good gas with some bad gas. I know that bad gas because I've pulled a Crown Victoria out of the woods. Literally, a tree was growing under it. Dragged that out of the woods, and that was the nastiest smelling gas. And I smelled that same thing when I changed that fuel pump out. So now, I'm going to just once over everything under the hood, check everything again. Then we're going to take this bad boy for a drive at least around the block or something. I mean, we was going to ride in this thing. Let's go. The scene of the crime. Right here. This is where it started. Cranked, fired up, smoked, and everything. Oh, yes. I am beyond, beyond, beyond happy. Also, I got to clarify something. A goof up that I made earlier. I'm not too grown to say it. On this side, I was checking for voltage. Ooh, that seat looks terrible. On this side, the, I was checking for voltage for a fuel pump. Word to anyone out here that's not as stupid as me, this is not the fuel pump. The fuel pump is on this side, over there. There's two level sensors for some reason, and I've never seen that. As many gas tanks as I've dropped, I've never seen two holes inside of a gas tank. And there's a level sensor over there as well, but it's one over here. This is the main one over here as well. But the fuel pump is not here. It's over there. But I didn't know that until, ironically, I looked at another YouTube video. So, stupid award goes to Adam Gibbs. Anyway, let's uh, keep rolling. So, I got you guys behind the steering wheel. And um, the audio may sound a little bit different because I had to take off my mic or whatever. But anyway, whoo! I'm nervous guys, oh god. Will it start again is the question. Will it start again? Okay. Uh -uh. So it's island, it's hunting really, but nonetheless it's island. I rode that clutch all the way out. We are moving. Oh -ho! What if I shift gears? Let's go! Riding in my BMW, yeah. Oh, I did not want to go this way. That means we are going on the road, baby. All or nothing. You know when you, it's like, I'm driving like you just learned how to drive stick. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna do what you shouldn't do in your first drive and drive it all the way from the house. So when I drive it completely away from the house and it breaks down, then I then I gotta walk like 16 miles back to the house. I'm pretty sure you guys done it. Oh my god. Got my ABS light on, got my airbag light on. I'm gonna die from an explosion. And the check engine light on, of course. But you know what? Freaking, this feels good, man. This feels good, okay? You know how many sleepless nights I've been through? We're gonna 
gonna take this little road here. Oh man. Light works? What? Now, we need to try reverse. Okay, that's six gear. I didn't think I was gonna find reverse. In this episode of Top Gear, James May struggles to find reverse. Where's the bloody reverse? <laughs> oh man, this is great. Is that the air on? I have AC? Loving it. It smells like <coughs> somebody died. It's it's quiet. It's it's pretty good. I know I'm gonna need to do suspension rather soon. The reason why I say that is because that side, that driver's, I mean the passenger's front is that strut. I think is is just atrocious. So I really need to get it like high in the air so I can really do like a full on underneath evaluation and stuff like that honestly but it's quiet air conditioning okay like what was the last project car you had that gave you work in air conditioning for 200 bucks bought this car for 200 bucks and now it's idling just fine wow well, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you guys for coming along on this wonderful journey so much. is This has been absolutely amazing, getting this car running. And it has not fought me tooth and nail, but I'm learning on BMW. Like I said earlier about uh, the fuel pump, I'm checking for voltage at the level sending unit, then the actual fuel pump itself, which ran me, made me run in circles. Uh, soon as I replaced that fuel filter, drain that those that gas out of the lines and put a brand new fuel pump in, which I put a 255 in instead of just a regular BMW replacement. Man, it's. This thing runs good. I mean, I'm sitting here in air conditioning. I'm not sweating, guys. Mind you, I'm fat, okay? And I'm not sweating. So, this is just amazing. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, if you like kittens, if you like cars, if you like tools, if you like anything, any one of those things, drop a like button, which means every single one of you better drop a like button, a like on this video because I am just ecstatic. If you like the video, also consider uh, sharing it as well. But that's it for today, guys. Again, thank you. I'm so happy. Peace out. Blah!